Hey guys, Josiah here from Swim Decaters at thinkorswim.net. I uh, wanted to do a video on patterns in Thinkorswim today. And so I'm in the Charts tab, Charts sub tab, and I have a chart of Spy pulled up right now. I'm going to go over here to the Patterns menu. And uh, first of all, I'm going to check Show Patterns. Uh, so that actually turns on the functionality so it'll start uh, trying to recognize patterns on the chart. Um, you might have uh, turned on different patterns in, in your uh, selection here, but if you don't check that box, then they're not going to ever show up. Uh, you can also selectively show or uh, check or uncheck this box on, you know, say if you have a grid of, of charts set up like I do, um, you can uh, turn on the patterns just for one of those grids and save some resources there. Um, anyway, but I'm back here in the daily chart of SPY, so I've got that turned on. I'm going to go into Select Patterns, and uh, then we'll just add one of these here. And so what we have here is the the classic technical patterns that uh, you read about in all the uh, um, technical analysis books. Um, your you know flag, your uh, double tops, uh, double bottoms, etc. So you can add whichever ones of these that you're interested in, any or all of them. Uh, we also have candlestick patterns here that you can add and have those automatically recognized as well. You can even create your own candlestick patterns to have the uh, system uh, recognized for you as well. So, uh, But I'll do a, a separate video explaining how to do that in another, uh, at another time. For now, uh, let's just add doji. Uh, just to uh, keep things simple here and uh, explain everything. So let me just go ahead and click apply and see what that does. So uh, first thing you notice, this looks kind of weird, right? Um, but uh, we do have a pretty good pattern that sets up here uh, and seems to have actually played out in the market as well. We have a pretty good pattern here, eh, but it actually seems to not have worked as well, at least as a uh, bullish breakout. So, um, first of all, one thing we can do to clean this up a bit is to change the settings of the um, pattern recognize, uh, recognizer to uh, be a little more strict so we don't get as much garbage from, uh, you know, like this right here. So I'm going to go into Ascending Triangle Settings here. You can double click it anywhere on this uh, bar here, or you can click the gear icon there. And so it'll pull up the settings menu. And so you can change this, uh, the length of the pattern. Uh, you can set it to start recognizing as little as five bars and up to as much as 300 bars long. Um, you can fine tune whether or not you want, you know, bullish, bearish, um, or both and, and so forth, um, whether or not the breakout has uh, completed or is uh, in the process of happening and that kind of thing. But what I really want to do is adjust the sensitivity right now to clear up kind of garbage patterns like this that uh, are not helpful. Um, so here you can drag the overall signal level setting from either weak too strong and there's several different uh, places it'll stop in between here uh, but let's just I'll just uh, apply one real quick and show you what that does and that completely uh, removes any patterns from the chart uh, altogether uh, that evidently is too strict of a setting so what I've found is uh, sometimes you'll need to fine-tune each of these so uh, right now I can't do that I can't adjust these individual settings until I click this box here and say, I'll, you know, let me fine tune each of these individually. And so what I'm going to do is just take the initial trend up one notch here, make that setting a little more strict. And so now we clear up that garbage signal that we had uh, initially. And you can adjust it a little bit more maybe to clear up some of this as well. But um, that will, uh, you know, that will help you get only the best patterns. 
um, and clear up some of the kind of nonsensical ones that uh, thinkorswim sometimes pulls up for you. Um, so you can adjust each of those depending on how um, uh, how strict you want it to be. And they do a pretty good job of explaining what each of these settings are here. If you drag this, you can kind of see over here on the little icon uh, what that is changing as you go. So you kind of know what you're um, adjusting already. Uh, and, and so they do a pretty good job of explaining that. Uh, over on display, the display tab, um, you can adjust your colors here. Um, and the main thing I wanted to note here is you can also adjust the behavior of where it shows like the predicted price range, uh, the target uh, range that you're expecting the price to move to. Uh, you can uh, change that to always show if you just always want that target to show up or you can change it to on hover or just never show at all if you're not interested in uh, algorithmic predictions of where price should go. Um, but that uh, I, I just leave it on hover so if you do want it you can just hover over it and see what it would predict and you can see that this one still played out pretty well actually so uh, so there you go and also um, so that's the uh, traditional technical patterns the uh, ca candlestick patterns so you'll remember we have a doji added here and uh, it is showing up on the chart. They are showing a, currently a dot at each of these candles wherever it recognizes one as being a doji. Uh, it's not very visible right now because of uh, just the coloration and everything. You can adjust that by going into the settings again, double clicking on here or just clicking the gear icon. And you can adjust the sensitivity here, um, the length of look back that it's comparing, um, and it gives explanations for each of these uh, settings as well, so that will help you get these set correctly. But uh, So if you want to make that a little more visible, you know, maybe color it yellow or bright green or something like that, you can also adjust the size of the dot here and uh, hit apply, and now you can see them a little bit more clearly here. And um, like I said, sometimes you're going to need to adjust those settings because depending on what type of time frame you're on, uh, let me just go into a intraday chart and scale back out. And you can see here there's dojis all over the place uh, because the way the algorithm is working, it's uh, recognizing a bunch of these you know, overnight candles as being comparatively dojis to the the last 20 bars that have happened so you can play with those settings and adjust them around to uh, you know get it where it finds only the kind of dojis that you're interested in seeing and uh, and that will help clear up some of the false signals for you so uh, I hope that helps and uh, you know like I said whenever uh, you just want to get rid of them and or save some system resources just uh, uncheck show patterns in the patterns menu there. That will turn it all off instantly and uh, clear up your chart a bit. Um, so that's how you uh, uh, turn on patterns in Thinkorswim and I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and hope you find it helpful. If you uh, do find these videos helpful please consider subscribing to the channel and consider hitting like below and uh, also be sure to check us out at thinkorswim.net uh, leave any questions or comments you have below or send us an email on the site and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.